What's up, squad? I got some good news. I am finally upgraded in my microphone quality. If you don't believe me, here's the audio from the Insta360 X3. What's up? I'm the Insta360 X3. What, what? And now switching back, here's the sound coming from my Rode Wireless Go 2, which you can see right here on my lapel. It's been a while since I've been out on the bike because for one, my Onyx C2i2 is down. I was involved in a bit of a collision, as you can see from this video here. But, you know, enough about that. And uh, this bike, this is my Super 73. I just did the torque update today, and this is my first time out riding, and I will say it is a noticeable difference. It's nowhere close to the torque that you would get from an Onyx RCR or, or C2i2, but it is still a noticeable difference. Big change from what it was. Like, I feel better getting off the line and like keeping up with traffic on these uh, smaller roads. Road right here, all these speed bumps are, are new. They've been put in within the last six months, which gives it a great opportunity for e-bikes to go faster than cars through here. But the one thing that sucks if you plan on using the bike lane is that the speed bumps aren't covering the entire bike lane. If you choose to stay in the bike lane, you're gonna have some bumpy roads ahead. almost 10,000 miles on this bike, I can tell you the best upgrade that I have by far is having dual battery. You cannot go wrong with increasing your range. Yes, speed is nice, but to work with the bike you have and the motor you have, your best bet on an upgrade is to go dual battery. Google how to do it. It's super simple. People make the uh, connectors and stuff. Or comment below and I can guide you the right direction. Now this is about a community. I'm here to help out if you got some questions. All right, riding around, we're passing Garden Highway right now, heading into Discovery Park. Uh, this is where the Aftershock Rock Festival happens every year. It gets crazy in here. I'm not sure how many people show up every year, but oh, there it is on the screen. But yeah, it's a crazy event. Uh, they shut this whole area down through for traffic uh, they have multiple stages all around uh, you can see where the grass is kind of dead right there that's where one of the stages was at the recent festival uh, they also have other stages down around there uh oh wait, wait. thank you Basically, this is the last day that you can get out and do something uh, because this weekend is going to be just rainy. Yeah, I know you can get out and ride in the rain, but I don't want to. So there's that. And if you do, that's that's good for you. I right, recently I took a trip up to Seattle. I know they have a strong community up there. And I was going to rent, you know, the local, just whatever their version of jump bike is and check out the town. But because it was cold and rainy the whole time, I just decided eh, it's best to stay dry and enjoy the city a different way. But I, maybe I'll go back there in the summertime and check it out. We just came out of Discovery Park and we're heading down the bike path into Old Sacramento. So right up here, this is a new science museum that they made out of an old Pacific Gas and Electric Company building. They're supposed to be planting a bunch of cherry blossom trees out here just in time for the bloom next year. I'm gonna be back here for that. If you've ever seen cherry blossoms when they're in full bloom, definitely a sight to see. All right, 
I'm five miles into my ride with the new torque update and what are my thoughts on it? I think it's great. The, the torque is the biggest thing that the Supersonic 3 was lacking. Uh, but now that it's able to get off the line a little bit quicker, uh, that'll help out in certain situations with traffic. I do wish that the torque was able to compare somewhere to my uh, T2i2, but you can only get so much out of a 48 volt. So up there in the distance is the Golden Bridge. If you were to Google images about Sacramento, other than the Capitol building, I would say that that Golden Bridge is one of the most photographed sites out here. The old tour. This is historic Old Town Sacramento. Uh, a lot of very historic buildings. Uh, the state park basically is the California Railroad Museum. Uh, that's another one of those places that, you know, you just, you're never a tourist in your own city, so you're like you gotta make it a point to go see stuff like that. Same with that uh, science museum back there. I wonder if these guys want race. I'm just assuming that I'm gonna edit it out because like, I'm horrible at talking about shit. Here we are going along the Interstate 5, which runs basically Mexico up to Canada. This is our piece over here in Sacramento. All right, so we're gonna cross from the old Sacramento into I guess downtown Sacramento. Capital, you would have been correct. So, fun fact about the Capitol here is I actually worked here for a few months, but because the office I was working out of was under renovations, I never actually worked inside the Capitol. But I did get to learn all about it. So if you guys want, comment below and I can take you on a little tour, point out some of the fun stuff. And apparently they're building a new annex onto the Capitol, which they've already done once. Uh, pretty much everything from that side back, you can tell between the old style and the new style. And that's all an annex. So it's just, it was built onto the original capital. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I'm gonna bring you some more.